Hello again and welcome to AI War. Uh, in this tutorial we're actually going to be taking a tour around a battlefield in a game that's been going on for about six hours with two players. And um, this is an interesting game because it's gone fairly well. Um, the AI has been more successful than perhaps we would have liked in preventing us from exploring in particular, uh, capturing planets, getting an adequate source uh, of knowledge, all that sort of thing. Um, so with 16 planets at this point, I would say we're a bit behind where we probably should be if we're going to hit the, the usual uh, average length of a campaign, which is around 10 to 12 hours. Um, in a campaign, normally you're going to take uh, probably around 40 planets if you're playing on an 80 planet map. So at around 16, you know, you know, we're not quite halfway there, planet capture wise. Um, we have been very successful, however, in doing things such as uh, uh, securing our hinterland, uh, protecting our core resources, our uh, most kind of productive central areas, uh, such as our home planets themselves. Um, so we've gotten ourselves fairly well protected so that we don't have to worry about uh, enemy attack too much, but that uh, at the same time they've protected themselves <laughs> a little more effectively than we'd like. So this is an interesting game because it's been uh, kind of like a uh, mouse trying to find its way through a maze. Uh, we're trying to find the points of least resistance and find the goals that are actually important to us and then make our way through and find those. So, uh, overall we've been fairly successful mice so far, but it's slower going than it otherwise would be. Um, the, um, our core planets, uh, Finkvar and Unetsik are where most of our resource production is. They're also our home planets. And uh, they've got almost no re uh, military ships there. On Unetsik, um, my ally has uh, you know, a number of Tech 1 ships right here at this particular um, Kwasnamas wormhole, but that's about it. Um, that's because we've got buffer planets around there. Kwasnamas itself is a really highly contested buffer planet. It's got two very hostile uh, wormholes on it, and uh, that has been part of the challenge of um, this western front is um, Kwasnamas is not really a very high value planet in general aside from its buffer status but at the same time it's requiring a lot of ships to defend it so that's been um, one of our challenges. Uh, everything else that's very difficult to defend is pretty much on the eastern front over here and um, we've taken great care recently to uh, protect some of them like uh, GFR and so forth by uh, walling off uh, or going in and doing a raid and destroying the warp gate on Isari. So that effectively walls off Geofer and Quonyi uh, and Vikovan actually um, from hostile attack, you know, warping raids directly in. Guys still wander through um, and if we lose some other planets then potentially we could be at risk there but it, you know it's not uh, a direct uh, ongoing threat. Uh, Rexma and um, Rudonville, Baplu, these planets are the ones that are more uh, consistently being attacked along with Quastamas on the western front. Uh, as you can see we've got a much more sizable fleet on these also using mines to good effect to try and uh, um, <clears throat> prevent them from getting their guys out and all over this planet since we've got some uh, resources that are here. Um, so all that's been fairly successful if hard won. Uh, the leading edge of where we're coming out uh, at is um, Zilao here. We have around six major fleets along the map and uh, two of the biggest ones are right here at Zilao. Um, the, uh, these are some ships that have just recently arrived. We've also, this is where we're going to be launching our next wave of Tech 3 scouts from very shortly. And um, over here is where we've got a massive army that we're about to send over to Zamek, which is uh, a nearby planet that in itself is not terribly important, but it's a gateway planet to getting over here where there's some advanced research stations. Uh, so far we've only captured one advanced research station out of the five that are out there, 
Uh, we've only discovered two others, and they've been very difficult to get to, so Zomic is a key gateway planet for us to hopefully achieve our goals of actually taking these other two and expanding our forces significantly. Um, knowledge has been another big problem, uh, where uh, we don't have that many planets, and so therefore our opportunity for gaining knowledge has been somewhat limited. Um, so. As part of our assault on Zomic, we're going to bring along these science labs in hopes of stealing the knowledge off that planet, even if we don't take it in this next attack. Um, our last attack on Zomic was actually unsuccessful um, because there's a super fortress there. Um, we're not sure if we're going to be able to destroy the super fortress or not uh, by going in there uh, with you know what we've got, which is mostly. Um, we're hoping we have enough Tech 2 and Tech 3 bombers, but we'll just kind of see. If that's not successful, then we'll try and knock out uh, everything else, uh, including the warp gate and the uh, orbital command station. We might be able to take that planet even with the super fortress on it, and uh, even though that'll leave kind of a hot spot on there. And uh, we'll work around it to try and get through and, and get onto more planets. Um, so those are the challenges that are kind of ahead of us. Um, right now we're fairly secure in what we've been uh, fortifying of our planets, uh, but the AI is similarly secure. So, um, you know, our scouting has been not very successful so far overall because uh, they've got really high level planets at some of their key uh, junctures there where, you know, uh, they're protecting other planets. We don't know where their uh, home command stations are. Where are the AI home planets? We're not really sure. We can guess. Maybe there's one here. It's this really big dead end. That doesn't happen too often. It's a really ideal defensive position. Uh, they might have some other stuff uh, over here somewhere or probably in the middle somewhere. So we're still trying to figure that sort of thing out. Uh, hope Hopefully, by taking some of these gateway planets like Zomic and so forth and getting over into this side of the map, hopefully we'll be able to do some more effective scouting. Uh, by finding some advanced factories here um, and getting some Tech 4 scouts, uh, hopefully we'll also be able to use the Tech 4 scouts to do a lot more effective scouting than we've so far been able to do. Um, so, in a lot of ways, we've really had a rough go of it. Um, I'd say our chances of victory are pretty strong at this point. Um, however, the risk of stalemate is kind of ever-present here. We may hit a point where we're not really able to effectively attack them without creating weaknesses in our own uh, planets that they might exploit. And so we might go through kind of a circular exploitation uh, process there where we take some of their stuff, they take some of our stuff, and back and forth to the point where we're not we feel like we're not really able to win and we just give up. Hopefully that won't happen, but actually that's a fairly, um, if you're going to lose, that's one of the more common ways to lose in the game. Um, it's possible that you might ramp up the AI progress to the point where they hit you with such strong waves that they smash through your planets, get through your defenses, and then take your home planet command stations. That's absolutely possible and it does happen. But more commonly, if you're able to defend yourself too well, they're able to defend themselves too well, and you're not careful and uh, clever about how you expand out into the galaxy, then you might just run out of steam and not be able to really move forward anymore. There's still things you can do in that sort of situation, such as stealing the knowledge by sending in the command or sending in your science labs and other. Um, tricky things you can do there. You can think of those kind of as siege blocking tech, siege breaking tactics rather. And um, that's certainly a valid thing to do. Um, a stalemate, some people think, is just um, another really strong challenge. And uh, so, you know, if you can break that siege, then go for it. We're not nearly at that stage yet, but uh, with the way that we've been uh, curtailed into just a few planets, uh, we're certainly at risk for that, especially since we haven't found any of their home planets or enough of the advanced factories or advanced research stations. Um, so that's the status on this game. Uh, we'll see how it turns out, but uh, this sort of thing is what you can expect in your games. And uh, 
hopefully with a little more success especially if you're not playing on the really high difficulties but uh, this sort of thing is definitely possible when uh, you're playing on a difficulty level that is right at your threshold um, this one is difficulty seven alright that's it thanks for joining us